We are the Department of Art History. Since 1978, we have been offering classes on the study of arts at both undergraduate and postgraduate levels. In 2012, we moved from our beloved home in the main building to the new Ravenshaw Tower on the Centennial Campus. Our current name, Department of Art History, replaced our former name Fine Arts to reflect our core discipline, our specialty. We are art historians. We welcome students from all faculties and year groups, showing them what arts are like in different cultures and time periods. Some of these works may look familiar and some may not. It's okay, we do not assume students coming in with prior knowledge in art history nor a studio art portfolio. Quoting freshmen's words, their experience has been truly eye-opening and like being in an art group tour. No matter you are a science student or business student, BA year one or above, you may be surprised how your lifelong love of the arts starts here with art history. It is a discipline that crosses geopolitical, chronological and disciplinary boundaries. As long as you are a little curious, you are good to go. Our department is part of the School of Humanities under the Faculty of Arts. We do not have our own specific admission requirements, but once you are admitted as a Hong Kong U student, you may choose art history courses during the course selection period. For each academic year, we offer around 30 undergraduate courses in total. These courses are of four different levels, catering for different levels of experience and interests. Our training begins with the very basics of seeing. Students learn how to look, contextualize, and later question arts and their discourse. If you are new to the subject, you should look out for two very popular introductory courses. Both of them aim to help students develop an awareness and understanding of the canonical works in the field. ARTH 1001 Introduction to Western Art History surveys the history of Western art from ancient Greece and Rome to the 21st century. From ancient painting and sculpture to modern photography and conceptual art, it explains how art communicates ideas and values that has shaped Western civilization, and how art has developed in relation to changes in historical contexts, including politics, religion, science, economics, and society. Students will learn about major artistic movements, common techniques of Western art, and methods for interpreting visual culture, both visually and historically. Let's hear what some of our students say. For me, uh, art history is very fresh to me because I haven't had such lessons in my secondary school. So it is a great blow on me, actually. 剛剛我們第一個課程就是Fine <笑> 幾interesting,同埋超超地讀得下喎,咁樣,咁所以就,即係本身有個interest嘅,不過都係讀完啲course之後就convince到我要stay,咁樣。The other 1000 level course that we offer is 108, Introduction to the Arts of Asia. It introduces major themes in art from early formations of Asian civilization to the 21st century. Students investigate the various forms of art production in China, Japan, India, and Southeast Asia with an emphasis on the means by which art creates meaning in diverse Asian cultures. Themes include issues such as patronage, personal style, artistic autonomy, art institutions, and collecting practices. For introductory course like this, there will be two lectures every week. Students may access additional visual and audio aids on the course Moodle site 
to help consolidate understanding and to facilitate further learning outside class. There are also tutorials which help with quizzes and writing assignments. Through group discussions and other learning experiences such as museum visits, students acquire different skill set that prepares them to pursue more advanced course in the future. Uh, when I was in my year one, I took both introductory course to Western and Asian art history. And at first, like I would go through the syllabus of both courses and I kind of knew what was coming. Like it's such a comprehensive overview from the start, the beginning of art history to modern and contemporary art. So I kind of knew there would be a lot to take in, a lot of information to understand and a lot to catch up on. But I think what I really like about art, studying art history and introductory courses in Hong Kong U is the professors and tutor tutors are very engaging, very welcoming and very friendly. They, they really try to encourage us uh, to participate in analyzing and appreciating the artworks. And it's not just about spoon feeding. It's not just about memorization. It's about how we apply content we learned in class into our daily lives. The department has a strong team of eight full-time teaching faculty members and two part-time lecturers. Their expertise, and more importantly, their passion, help students explore their own interests during their time at HKU. Students tend to meet more teachers from our department in their second year of study. 2000-level courses are more specific, focusing on a period or a region or a type of art forms or a theme. They provide knowledge of established historical interpretations and introduce students to art theory. Comparing with the two big introductory classes of around 150 to 220 headcounts, 2000 level courses are of a smaller class size. With around 20 to 40 people in one class, professors get to know their students better and are able to offer individual consultation time, in particular to have in-depth discussion on the student's essay topic or research project. With greater interactions in class, students could also bond with like-minded peers who share a similar passion in art and art history. Every year, we have around 40 second-year students declaring art history as their major or minor. Most of them took our introductory courses in their first year. But if you happen to have missed them and not declaring art history as major or minor at the beginning of your second year, it's okay. You can still take our courses in other years of study and change your decision later. Of course, if you want to major or minor in art history, it makes sense that you take a considerable number of courses from this department to make it your specialization. The earlier you start, the more choices available. As you progress through the program in art history, specializing in this subject, you encounter increasing complexities of visual literary and develop abilities to analyze, read and interpret. Topics in our 3000 level courses are streamlined. Materials in these courses draw upon an advanced range of methodologies and include interpretations that challenge established scholarship or advance its findings. Classes are a combination of lectures and seminars. The small group of students have to prepare and actively participate in class discussion every week. I think it's definitely a good thing to see um, the professor and also our course mates in person because I think that will give us a more interactive um, learning environment. Last year on Zoom, I think everyone has been trying their very best to connect and also interact with each other. But that it's still very different from, you know, like seeing people in real life. In general, um, I do believe that no matter which background you are coming from, I think art history always opens a welcome door for you. When we think about art, maybe we think that it's always about construction, but I believe that art history is more about deconstruction. And deconstruction um, refers to us employing different knowledge from different disciplines to review the unspoken and also the very subtle 
um, ideas that are hidden in art. I think that's it's a very empowering act because we are giving a voice to these unspoken materials. In the last year of study, final year students will have to take at least one of our 4,000 level capstone courses. These seminar courses are designed in a way that students can immerse themselves in even more intensive discussions and acquire critical approaches to art history as a discipline. Unlike other capstone seminars, one particular capstone courses take a very different form. It is our 4005 Art History Internship. Our internship program is a work placement scheme that gives students an opportunity to gain direct experience in a non-profit art institution. Students can apply the skills that they learnt in the classroom at the professional level and get a track record of working in the art field. The department works with various institutions to make this internship possible every year. Some of these opportunities even go beyond Hong Kong. First of its kind is the International Internship, collaborated with Art Promotion Office. Even in time of COVID, when our student interns could not travel abroad for their internship experience, they managed to work closely with APO and local artist Lam Dong Pak. They visited the artist studio, participated in both the research process and the making of some very interesting video clips. It might not be the kind of international internship they first expected, but they have learned how to adapt and work efficiently in a situation full of uncertainties and changes. Their effort pays off. The videos that they made feature in Lam's final work, now installed in Japan. Internship experience is invaluable, and this first-time experience is going to make a great start in students' career development. To prepare students for graduation, the department offers graduate study talks and invites outside experts to host practical workshops. Students will learn what makes a professional CV and how they can present the best version of themselves in interviews. Alumni are also invited back to share with our current students the latest career information and their own experiences. We have a very supportive community. That includes not only alumni, but also professionals in the current art field. The department is keen to invite world-class scholars to give academic talks and share the latest research. These are invaluable opportunities of intellectual exchanges. Apart from art historians, we try to introduce our students to many other art professionals from all over the world. There have been workshops and masterclasses with artists, curators, and conservators. We hope through direct conversations, individuals' insights can widen our students' exposure and help them create their own future. Direct learning experience is crucial. It is important for art history students to see original works of art, to fully comprehend the scale, the quality, and the sight there is nothing more effective than to be there in situ and see the works firsthand. Over the years, our trips have covered different parts of Asia and Europe. The university and individual donors share our vision and have been very generous in supporting our overseas travel. Before the pandemic, around 20 to 30 students benefit from our various departmental travel grants every year. These grants include the Hong Kong U Museum Society Travel Grant, the UOB Scholarship in Fine Arts, and the Art and Education Travel Grants for Fine Arts students. Even though traveling has become a problem at this moment in time, we are hopeful that our travel grants will support many more course-related field trips and individually proposed journeys in the near future. We help individuals to pursue their dreams and become independent scholars with critical thinking. They will be the next generation of art professionals for Hong Kong and for the world. Please visit our official website, arthistory.hku.hk, to find out more about us. We are also on various social media platforms, including Facebook, Instagram and YouTube, where there are stories about our students, updates on upcoming events, basically different facades of the department. 
stay tuned and hope we'll be able to welcome you sometime.